So the Springbok team for the 2023 Rugby World Cup in France has been announced. Now I want to start off this video by looking at the players who missed out on jetting through to France to represent the Springboks. So I identified three players that I think were very unlucky to miss out. These three players, oh, they had an integral part in the Springboks winning the Rugby World Cup in 2019. So a notable player who missed out is definitely Lucanio Am. It's quite clear that Grant Esterhuizen got a nod ahead of Lucanio Am. Then another player that missed out is Lord de Jager. Lord de Jager was an important figure for the Springboks in the last iteration of the Rugby World Cup. And it's clear that Lord de Jager, his place was taken up by either Jean Klein or Marvin Ori. Another player who's also unlucky to miss out is the Springboks hero, our main man at fly-off, Andre Pollard. Now we all know Andre Pollard has injury issues and for that he missed out on the World Cup and he's been placed on standby. So that means with Andre Pollard not being in the Springbok team, Flyoff duties will be in the hands of Mane Libok and Damien Willemser. So the forwards, the props, obviously Vincent Koch, Steven Kitsov, Franz Boyerbo, Oxen Cetra, Munkani. These players are all guys that we expected to be there. Hookers, Bongino Manambi, Malcolm Marx, excellent guys, locks. Uh, Eben Etzebet, Jean Klein, Marvin Ori, Erges Neyman. I would think between Jan Klein and Marvin Ori, maybe many people would say Marvin Ori is the lucky one, but I would think Jan Klein is the lucky one. Um, having come from the outside, remember Marvin Ori was always in the system. Jan Klein, who um, wore the green judge of Ireland previously, came from the outside, and I think that Lord de Jager lost his spot to Jan Klein. Loose forwards, uh, Peter Sefter Toit is in the team, that's expected, Sia Kulisi, Quagga Smith, to see Marco van Staren there was quite a surprise, but he's included in the team, Dwayne Vermeulen and Jasper Visa, that's expected. Utility forwards, it's good to see Dion Ferri in the team, the oldest Springbok, or the oldest player to, to debut as a Springbok in the team. Franco Mostert, I think, was also lucky to be in the team as well. He didn't have a very good um, pre-season, but he made it. Then, surprise, I'm very surprised to see four scrum holes. I think having four scrum holes is an overkill to have four scrum holes. Out of gone with Faf de Klerk, Kobos Reinach and Grant Williams. I wouldn't have taken Jaden Hendricks with. I'm a huge fan of Grant Williams. I think this, this guy is oh, he's excellent and he is the future of the Faf de Klerk. Um, I think that Grant Williams will, will be our primary scrum off. Then fly-offs, we've got Mandy Libok and Damon Willemser. I know that there are plenty of anti Mandy Libok um, Springbok supporters out there. And um, it seems as if Mandy Libok has been given the mantle. Damon Willemser is there as well, so it's between the two of them. And we will see between the two of them who is the first choice fly-off in the absence of Andre Pollard. But rest assured, guys, I think... Storm supporters, they are comfortable with Manny Libok running the show. And I think he just has to convince the rest of the country that he is the man. Then centers, uh, Damien Dialinde, Grant Esterhuizen and Jesse Krill. Yeah, guys, I think, yo, now, here out of sent through three scrum halls and out of included Lucanio M as a center because Lucanio M what he offers, he offers something very good in attack as well as the way he manages the defense with the Springboks. Um, but as we've seen here, we've got Damien Delanda and Grant Esterhuizen. To me, they are identical players. The way they play, they're identical. And we've got Jesse Krill as seems to be the sole 
outside center in the team. And I think the Springboks might have a problem here in the, in the center department, um, in my opinion. Then the outside backs, we've got Kurtley Aronser, Cheston Colby, Vali Leroux, Makuzuloma Pimpi, and Kaylan, Kaylan Moody. So, yeah, um, the Springbok outside backs are magnifique. I think these guys are excellent. Um, they're going to pose problems. They're, they're going to pose problems if the ball gets out wide to them. They will pose problems to any defense in world rugby. So my only concern here is at center, and I think possibly at fly off. Um, but like I said, is that if if confidence is shown from the coaching staff in Mandeli book, I believe he will repay that confidence with with consistent good performances as he did for the Stormers. And with outside centers, I mean Jesse Creel there as the only outside center. They went to and um, uh, Andre Estreisen, they are basically the, the same type of player. So that is our Springbok team, guys. Interesting Springbok team. I will provide my prediction for how far the Springboks will go into this World Cup in a, another video. But um, this is our team. So let me hear your opinions. Do you guys like this team that was put out? Do you guys disagree with what was done here with the team? Comment in the comment section guys, leave your comments, I would love to interact with you. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.